All right, everyone, welcome to the Nuts coverage. That was a Cowboy 300 coming at you live from Texas Motor Speedway. For the folks over here at AMA and the AMA Cup Series, qualifying presented by Admin Box is about wrapped up. You know what that means. And it is about that time to go green flag racing here tonight. And again, this field will work their way through. Wrapping up Q times here, and we are ready for 200 laps here tonight for the main one here. Let's take a look here at your starting lineup for the Cowboy 300. It is going to be starting on the front row. It's going to be James Hodgins. Chad Winstead there on the front row as well alongside. Row number three, Brian, or row number three, sorry about that, Brian Master and Mr. Kendall Paul. George Glover and Justin Mummel. Ted Craven and Brian Phillips. Michael Kirk and Justin Osterman right there as well. Row number nine. Let's go through that again because it's goofy. Duh. So that's Hodgins and Winstead front row. Heath and Nick Alford row two. Messer and Palm row three. Compton and Melton row four. Glover and Mummel row five. Craven and Phillips row six. Prince and Aaron and there in row seven. Kirk and Osterman row eight. Ford and Hinton row nine. And that will end out the 18 car field here tonight. Let's see if we can talk to our pole sitter here in just a moment. So. American Motorsports Association pole sitter for the Cowboy 300. It goes to the one, Mr. James Hodgins. Let's talk to him. All right. All right, James Hodgins, I'm at the booth. Got a copy. I do, Matt. How are you? I'm doing good, man. Well, look at that. Top of the board for you, sir. Thank you. I have no idea where I pulled that one out, but I'll take it. Uh, hey, you got to sit here and talk to me pre-race. It gave you the lucky star. Yeah. It's like Spongebob. Yeah. You got the lucky star and it worked. Well, if you could do the same tomorrow and Friday, that would be very much appreciated I, indeed. Thank you. You know, I'll look into it, but I'm afraid I'm kind of like the fairy odd parents. I, I run out of stars <laughs> weather quickly. <laughs> we'll see if you can stock, stock you up on that. Well, man, again, best of luck tonight. You're going to start from the pole. What's going to take to take care of this 88 all night? Uh, try and look after the tires. Um, but... I've got Kyle behind me and Chad to the right, so they're both really, really great drivers. I've got the utmost respect for them, so we'll see how long I can uh, sit in front. But, yeah, I'm just going to try and look after the tyres because I think this is going to go uh, green flag runs for a while. There you go, man. Best of luck, James. Thank you, sir. Have a good uh, one. Interstellar up front with James Hodgins. Here tonight, we'll roll through and get ready to go. And down a through, getting ready to come by. Well, pace car, dang on you. That does not work with the pace car. Well, listen, learned. As the pace car will get ready to dive down pit road, that'll lead the field in the hands of James Hodgins. You see it right here. Out of turn number four this time by. We're getting ready to get the Cowboy 300 underway here tonight from Texas Motor Speedway. Lights are off atop the pace car. Ready to go. It will be 300 lap or 300 miles, 200 laps here tonight. Here we go. Green flag in the air. We're underway to the restart box. Good start by Winstead. Winstead gonna jump up there. Paul already up through the gears. Kyle Heath right there as well as they head for turn one and two, side by side, right in front. Melton back here trying to figure it out early on. He'll use about a lane up, which. Here at Texas in turn one seems to be a good one and we early on got a problem. So Osterman. Yeah, that's very darn you know what happened right there. The whole room. Let's take a look. Something went wrong. So Oh, wrong splash screen. My bad. Let's see how. 
Osterman. Let's take a look. Osterman sideways. So Osterman losing the back of the car early on brings the caution out. So already trouble here tonight to bring us to yellow here early on this evening. So caution is out. We'll get ready for the restart here in just a moment. Cars to pit road. Already here tonight. So Char is already out of shape early on. So we'll see what we got. Three laps on the board. So again, three of 200 complete first caution of the night. So already trouble. We'll see what we got. We'll get them repaired. Ah, crap. Did I go live in two places? I did. Fuck. I don't even know what happened. All of a sudden, the thing went right hard. Oh, three lines towards the wall. I was like, all right. All right. All right, there we go. We'll fix that for later. What the hell just happened? There we go. You guys still got me, folks. Hopefully, you still got me. Let me see. Somebody can let me know if the stream is still up. That would be great. All right. I think we're still good. I had to end the other stream. Instead, we'll lead them down so I get confirmation. It's up, CT? Okay. That was weird. Okay, that's very odd. That's nevertheless. We will... Okay, that works. All right, coming to green. Coming to green this time. Bye. Here we go. Green flag in the air. We're rolling. Once again, back to speed one more time. All right, back up to speed. Everybody will roll through. Working our way through. Nice job. Everybody hanging on right now. Cowboy 300 back underway here tonight. Great racing out front for the field. Winstead leads right now. Alford right there behind them. Here comes Kyle Heath as well. Aaron and Justin Mummel right there in line. A nice little battle. Brian Phillips. Ted Craven, Messer there, Zachary Compton. So Winstead trying to check out once again. Behind him, you're going to have Messer, Phillips, Ford, Melton, Ted Craven, 
Max Ford, Christopher Melton back here. Now, tell in Charlie at the moment. Max Ford, great work. So great work between said vehicles near the tail of the field right now. Again, it's been a great race over already, already tonight. And right now, it's Nick Alford. Winstead trying to sneak forward. Here comes Alford and Mr. Hodgins right there as well. Two by two. Hodgins, after starting on the pole, he'll wash up down at one and two. He'll go three lanes up, trying to hold the very top of the racetrack here. Here it goes, Zachary Compton alongside Paul. Here comes the 51 of Messer. Eight on the board. And eight complete. Winstead continuing to lead. There's Hodgins right in line. There's the 15 of Alford. Alford, good run. Back to the back bumper early on. Let's say we do a little bit of crank it up early on here as they battle side by side around this racetrack. Great battling right now as they're side by side. A couple of cars are two or three rows deep there back around 11th. Great battle mid pack that continues to rage right now. 13 on the board, and that continues to be a heck of a run. As you see them side by side, that's Ford, Michael, Phillips, everybody that's right here mid pack continuing to hang on right now. So, again, we see that great racing mid pack here that. Texas is really putting on a great show and uh, very impressive really that these cars have been able to hang tight the way they have oh uh, again 14 complete this time by so we see these guys putting on a heck of a show at least mid pack for the moment and again, the debatable reconfiguration of Texas, some people like it, some people don't. But I tell you what, with this new next-gen car, I think it puts on a heck of a show, at least through the mid-pack here. Again, we got a long way to go. I don't want to toot the horn too early. But right now, it's been pretty good racing throughout the field. And again, this next-gen car is a very good at this style of racing at least uh, short tracks not so much that's another conversation but these one and a half mile racetracks I have been very impressed with what we have seen 
You see up front, Kyle continuing to lead. Right there is uh, Brian Messer and Chad Winstead, who is right there into the uh, turn one portion, which is, of course, the portion that they did the most work to work on that portion of the racetrack. So again, right now, everybody continuing to fight through. Two by two right now, Winstead, Kendall Paul, Brian Masser, take a look at Winstead, a little out of shape there, into the tri-oval, could have been worse, held on to it. He's, so again, right now, 18 on the board, we are back at it once again, and it's still early here tonight, is Master Paul Phillips right there. 18 on the board and it's great racing here all the way through with Kyle Heath continuing to lead right now so it's Kyle Heath out front the 13 take a look at Kendall Paul back there in the 78 Aaron Abram there and Christopher Melton who have all really put on a great show very early on so again, what can we expect here as we run forward longer, if you will, through this race with 20 complete. He's again checking out. Hole back there. Phillips right now in the 89. Max Ford in the 11. So right now, running through the 20th lap of this affair, 180 to go. One yellow on the night here early this evening. There's go George, Justin, Kirk already out 10 laps down. Michael Kirk just got back from a business trip, so good possibility he elected to step out of that race car. Wasn't feeling it here tonight. You got to respect him for that. If you're not feeling it, get out the car and uh, relax. Osterman out of that as well. He got in that incident back straight away. So again. Taking a look at these guys right by the start finish line here at Texas. Taking a look at another car having a good run here, Nick Alford. Having a decent run there in the 15. Hodgins. What about Chad Winstead as we work through? Winstead watching back. And he'll fall in line behind Brian Masser. Winstead trying to keep his dreams alive here for a championship this season. He's had a very good start to the season. I have to say for him. So again, that, that, that car has been uh, dominant a lot of times. Uh, especially at these one and a half mile race tracks like tonight so again uh, I'm very proud of what we're seeing here 24 laps in of course the AMA Cup Series working their first season I'll tell you what, you take a look at the Kyle Heath getting it done at Martinsville. We got it done at, Br at Rich at Bristol and Richmond as well. So kind of a, a group of, you know, uh, road, uh, short tracks for that driver of Kyle Heath. That'd be huge if he could step up here and get it done at a, at a one and a half mile racetrack. <laughs> uh, of course, he's, you know, Winstead got it done at Vegas the last time we were at one of these tracks. But really take a look, and he is doing a great job right now. He's been known for those uh, short tracks early in the year, but right now trying to recover. The car that has had the, the, not the season, in my personal opinion, that, can, that uh, he has wanted here. And he, he's on track right now. Uh, let's see if we can find him. It's Kendall Paul, and I'm going to try to pull his stats for you. 
he's ninth in points coming into the night, but not uh, by far. Not the night that he, he, or the year, the season, if you will, that he has wanted. And, and you take a look at that. You look at his average um, run, average finish of 12th, average start of 14th. Not what he wanted here. Remember, remember, started the season there at Daytona, way back there, and ended up with a rough run at Daytona. Kind of set the portion for his Cup season that he is having. Of just not the luck that you would expect to see out of the 78. Melton back there, the 49, of, and Brandon Hinton. There comes Phillips there in the 89. Hinton again, another good top 10 run for Brandon. At least early in this one. That is another car we're going to have to keep an eye on throughout the year. Justin Michael back here side by side. The 12 going to roll to the top. Trying to use that momentum outside. That's the 45 underneath other of a Prince. And that is not working to his advantage very well right now. They'll get it circled back out into three and four back single file. But it's Heath continuing to lead after his short track wins earlier this year. Very impressive for the 13 right now. Nick Alfred right there as well. So, Alfred right now running second, trying to hold at least for the moment again 30 of 200 complete so what can you do and what do you do here as you work your way through here at texas motor speedway the cowboy 300 again 30 laps in and you're just joining us what should be one heck of a roll Again, right now, lap 60 going to be stage one, 125, stage two tonight. So we're halfway through stage one. Heath right now looking to be in a good spot for that first stage. Paul back to seventh as well. So again, 31 this time by 200. Taking a look, Brandon Hinton back there. There is the six of Justin as well. Folks, we're going to quickly step away for a quick, quick commercial break. Here is we're halfway through stage number one of the Cowboy 300 here tonight. All right, back here, continuing to roll right now as we work around here. Again, this racing continuing to be epic here tonight. Field working their way down the back straight away here. Kendall Paul right there behind Christopher Melton right now. And then, of course, you have, that is going to be the 81 right there in the line also. Nice work by everybody right now working their way through here. 35 on the board here tonight. Right now, it's Heath out front, continuing to dominate the race lead at the moment. Heath, there is the 15 of Alford 
Here comes Mr. Hodgins there falling through. Taking a look right there. That is going to be the 51. Great run for him. There's the 60 of, of Winstead. The 81 back there in line. Here comes the 40. All back there. Here also comes Brandon Hinton rolling through. There is the 6 of Aaron. There's the 89 quick trip machine. The 45 right there. Everybody pretty well evenly spaced apart around the racetrack right now. And so again, we're seeing the the same complexion of this race. <laughs> Everyone being kind of spread apart. At least early on here tonight. So I mean, I am happy. Overall. With what we're seeing. 37 laps in. We still got a little bit of ways to go. So again, nice racing. Taking a look right now. Heath. Here comes the 12, the 45. Taking a look there to 12 and the 11, the 26 right there. Everybody working the bottom. Max Ford. Meanwhile, he's still with the second lead. Hodgins coming under fire right now. Or closing on Brian Messer. That'll be for third. Messer holding on. Holding that spot. So Messer, good job. Overall, extremely happy with what we're seeing as we're 40 complete. And again, about 25 to go in the stage. You see Hodgins attempting to work the bottom. And again, those couple of race cars nose to tail right now. Hodgins trying to put the pressure to the back bumper of Messi. And remember, Hodgins backed his way up here after... Hopefully that works. Okay. So, right now, 41 complete. Heath out front, continuing to dominate there. And I tell you what, great run for Heath in the first stage here. So, at the moment, we set. There's the fifth 13 out front. Alford still continuing trying to hang on to 15. Here comes Hodgins as well. 42 complete of 200. And I ain't down the back straight away we go. You see Hodgins back here to fourth. So, at, you know, we're pretty well spread out around the racetrack here. We got a little bit of battling back here with Hinton. Trying to close on Aaron. Aaron holding him off. Taking a look. There's the 78. There's Melton. Heath continuing to lead right now. So again, we're working on that 44. This time by 65 your stage. Most likely, we're going to most likely have to get down pit road right around the stage break. That should be right on their edge of their fuel mileage window here tonight. If nothing changes right now, lucky dog Ted Craven, but he's five laps down, not having the best race. You see Craven on pit road. Meanwhile, Paul going to get by Aaron there for, or Aaron and Paul two by two at the moment. Aaron, great job. All up top, nearly gets a piece of defense. 
you see those guys going to get single file back out and going to say, hey guys, I'm here. I want a piece of this battle as well. 45 complete. Forty six hundred complete this time by right now. Meanwhile out front is Heath continuing to lead by one point five over Alfred and the gap stabilized. You see that gap up front continuing to stabilize Heath looking to win stage one of tonight's event. So again the Cowboy three hundred right now being led by Kyle Heath here tonight. And what a absolute wonderful run. Taking a look, here comes Nick, Brian, Hodgins, Chad, Zachary, Melton, Kendall, and Brandon in the line. Here comes Phillips. Two by two behind them is a Mr. Uh, Prince and Justin Mummel back back here continuing to roll so we've seen it all night here tonight we continue to be really trying to get this one over but it is Heath outside out front in the 13th so 48 on the board Beautiful racing out front. Now Heath continuing to lead. So Heath continuing to lead right now. Let's do one more crank it up in this stage. And we'll be ready to go to the end. Sorry about that, folks. Back with the yellow flag out. Late in the stage here. I think Kendall Paul may have been involved. 
and let's see what we got. So this would not be the stage costume here tonight. Let's take a look. What actually happened here to bring it out here at lap 54. See if we can figure out who got into trouble. But again, yellow out here. Not the stage break. But it's going to be late in stage number one. So what this is going to do is set up a little bit of tire scenario for the field here. Trying to figure out exactly what happened to bring this out. I'm trying to figure out exactly what occurred. See, see if we can discover. There was tight racing right here at the 49. I wonder if maybe they had a little bit of a problem. I'm not sure. Not sure what that yellow was for, but nevertheless, caution out on the racetrack here. So again, lap 55. We'll get ready for the restart here in just a moment. We'll be back with you momentarily. All right, getting ready to go back to green here in a moment. So ready to go once again. It'll be a restart with less than 10 to go in the stage. Let's take a look, ready to go. So we'll get ready to go. Again, 58 on the board. So, let's see what we got. Here's the field gems back at you. Two by two. Here we go. You see cars on pit road. Right now, it's Hodgins out front leading for the restart. Here off of pit road ready. And again, or Hodgins up to fourth, excuse me. Taking a look. Kyle leading. He's led most to stage one. Can he finish off stage number one tonight? 
That'd be huge if he could say he could finish it off here. So again, 58 on the board. Ready to go. 58 on the board, ready to go. Here we go, green flag in the air. 58 this time by Heath leads. Here we go, 58 on the board, everybody up to speed. Here we go, into turn one. Two by two, couple of cars right there. Hodgins up top, trying to hold position as well. Three wide down the back straight away. Caution on the racetrack. And it's the 45. So again, take a look. Here we go. The 45. And there you go. The 45 going to get turned sideways. And that will bring the yellow out. And that will be the end of stage. And it will be Heath picking up the stage number one here tonight. So Heath will pick up stage one. So. All right. He's a great job. Picks up stage one. Let's talk to him. Hey, Kyle. He's Matt in the booth. Got a copy. Hey, Kyle. You got a copy of him, bud? Hello. Um. Hey, Kyle. You got me now. Huh, yeah, I got you. I just uh, I knew I moved to Discord. I didn't know what the heck happened. <laughs> uh, right? Well, you're going to be officially winning stage one here with this yellow ending the stage. Yes, sir. I'm, I'm glad the stage, first stage is finally over, too. All right. So let's talk about this for a minute and the season that you've had. Because we know, you know, you've got the win on the short tracks. How does it feel to really be able to perform here on a uh, one and a half mile racetrack? It feels pretty good. Give me a little bit more confidence. You know, Texas is one of those tracks where you definitely got to use your throttle. You know, you can't give right. it too much throttle. Throttle was key. Right, right. Well, man, congratulations. Stage number one, that's going to be 10 points in your pocketbook. Heck, yeah. The last week I got lucky. I think it was at Martinsville. I got lucky at that track. I shouldn't have won that one, to be honest with you. Max Ford should have won that one. And you want me to move you back down to the free agent channel, man? Yeah, that, that's fine. Or oh. move back down to Surfer King, just in case somebody comes in. 10-4, man. Best of luck, bud. Thank you, Matt. All right, there we go. There we go. So, Kyle, picking up stage number one, Alfred P2. Nick Alfred there, ten to po nine points for the 15. Let's see here. Uh, and where is Nick? So. And right now, it'll be 61 and 200 complete. So at the moment, you see here, Alfred Messer, Hodgins up into the top four. Let's check in with Hodgins here. All right, get right open. they will let the field come down. After that, we'll grab another interview. And again, everybody should take tires and fuel here at this part of the race. Stage one wrapped up. So again, 61 complete. So again... Let's see what we got. 61 of 200 complete. First stage wraps up here at Texas. 
and we'll get ready to go once again. So ready to go. So with that, everybody will get ready to roll. So 62 to 200 complete. Right now, so again, getting ready to go right back at you here. 62 complete, and right now, 63 on the board. So, we'll get ready for the restart one more time, and you see it out front, Winstead, continuing to lead here. Winstead having a heck of a run tonight, now after the pit stops for stage. And we got a couple more still down there on pit road. That'll be the 89 of Phillips and George Glover coming off of pit road here, as well as Brandon Hinton on pit road also. Taking a look as they uh, circle through. It, it takes a moment to get these pit stops circled out. Uh, let's, um, let's talk to the 78 if we can. That'll be another interview we can do. We instead, of course, up there. A 78, Kendall Paul. Matt and the booth got a copy. I got you, Matt's going on. Not much, man. Well, so far this season, at least in the Cup Series, you're not having the runs that you were looking for. What did you expect coming into the Cowboy 300, and how do you feel it's went so far? Well, Texas was probably one of the worst <laughs> mile and a half for me. It is the worst mile and a half for me. Um, I mean, it's pretty much going as what I pretty much expected. Uh, we got into the wall off for turn number four a little bit. Uh, so we had a little bit of toe link damage or whatever on the right front. So um, got that all fixed up. Got new tires. Definitely overran the car stage one. So got to tone it down a little bit. Go to uh, regroup for stage two. And hopefully we'll learn from stage one what we need to do better for stage two. And hopefully we'll get this thing up to the top five. And to answer your question, yeah, I know the season hasn't gone the 100% the best way for the SKP Storm Tracker 78, 78 Ford Mustang. Um, we just got, we have the pace for the top five. And then something, either somebody wrecks us, or we wreck ourselves, or we make a mistake ourselves, that sort of thing happens, so, gotta look at the positives, we we have the pace, we know we can be up there, we just gotta put it all together. Yeah, and, and I feel like it started at Daytona, right? You had those two amazing runs in trucks and Xfinity, but your Cup 500 didn't go, and I think that puts you on your, on your heels a little bit for the Cup Series, and it doesn't feel like that you've been able to really recover from that this year. No, not, not, not really. We had that wheel malfunction back at Daytona that put us out early and um, put us 30th in that race. And then Atlanta, we didn't have the best run. Our best run was Las Vegas, which is a mile and a half that I like. So hopefully we're going to go to Talladega next week. We're going to go to Dover, which is probably not one of my best tracks. But then we'll go to Kansas, kind of my bread and butter. So hopefully we can put it, put it together at the home track. Yes, sir. Well, you're coming off what was your second best finish of the year back at Martinsville with a ninth. So, best of luck to you here tonight. Maybe you can get that eighth and uh, double up your best finish, man. Yeah, hopefully, hopefully we're going to get a best finish tonight. There we go, buddy. All right, Kendall Paul, everybody, the Interstellar Esports owner and the driver of the Storm Tracker 78 machine. Ready to get back at it. We're going to let him go. 
And there we go. So Paul coming off of that. Next up, we'll next show over, we'll talk to Chad Winstead, get his opinion. It's kind of the opposite year for Winstead, at least for now. So 65 on the board, this caution going to extinguish past this time by. And ready to go. So we are ready to go back to green. See what we got. So as I look through this, ready to go. <coughs> Coming to green this time by. Max Ford ready to go. 65 on the board. So let's get ready to go. It'll be Winstead leading the way. 65 and 200 and ready to rock and roll once again. Green flag under the underway here once again. Here comes Hodgins. There goes Winstead. Messer right there as well. The 6, the 88, the 84 of Zachary Compton going to roll through. Right to the bottom, right underneath the, uh, right on that very yacht bottom line. The 51 of Brian Messer nearly washed up. Got into another race car. Somehow grabbed a hold of that race car. Got it to go back left. Great job, Winstead, though. Continuing to hang on, but it's Kyle Heath out front dominating right now. Kyle Heath having a heck of a run right at the moment, leading away. Max Ford behind him. Here comes Winstead, your top three. Hodgins are up there as well. That's a nice job, Aaron Abram back there. Aaron holding tight, doing everything he can. Again, we're working lap 67 of the Cowboy 300 tonight. Just coming off the restart here tonight. And again, starting to spread back out up front. Winstead continuing to roll the third here. Here it comes forward for Alford. There's Hodgins. Started on the pole, running in the top five right now. Aaron Brom right there in six. Zachary Compton there as well. Compton, good run. Compton back to seventh. Messer in eight. Ninth right now, Paul. Tenth is Melton. Eleventh is Hinton. Twelfth at the moment is going to be Phillips. George Glover back there. A part of the party around 13th in the battle deeper in the pack right now here in Texas. There's a Starbucks machine. Meanwhile, Hodgins getting passed here by Brian Messer, who's moved his way back forward. So up a spot by Messer. Impressive enough that all these cars have continued to run pretty simultaneously lap time-wise here tonight. 70 on the board. It's James Hodgins. So seventy one this time by seventy one this time by as the field works through. Taking a look, nose to tail up near the front. That is gonna be Winstead. Couple of more. There's the eleven as well. So great run by the eleven and right holding serve. Good position for him. So again, 72. Continuing to roll. 
Ford, Heath, Winstead, Alford. Nice work. So again, right now, 73 complete. Continuing to circle through. So again, single file at the moment up front. This battle continues to rage though. Tire management tonight being of the key that we heard under the stage. So you've heard it. Working their way through. So again, 74 on the board right now. Nice working. So what a run. A little bit of passing there, Kyle. He's trying to make a move. Again, two by two, it's Heath right there as well. So again, at the moment, everybody taking care of one another. 75 complete of the 200 here as we're coming towards halfway. Been some great battling on track here. So again, side by side. That was tight. Heath nearly got yeeted. Man, that was so tight to be in a problem. Nice job. So again, right now, everybody doing exactly what they need to do here. 76 complete this time by. So, right now, 77 this time by. So you see it right now. Brom back there. There's Brom. Hanging on to six right there. there Brom. Nice run. It's back to P6 right now. Taking a look there. There's the six. There's Zachary in the 81. So again, these top three or four cars. Nice work. Taking a look nose to tail. Here is Brian Kendall Paul back there to eight. Taking a look at Messer on board. Nice job. Easy. Boy, that got tight for a moment. Very, very tight. Very careful. It'll be 80 on the board. So Kyle continuing to lead. Max Ford back there behind him. So take a look here. Max and Heath up front. Nice battle. 80 on the board. Continuing to be single file at the moment. Take a look. 51. The 81 hanging on. Taking a look nose to tail here into three. And again, you got more of that banking there to catch the car through turn three here and keep that car rolling. Taking a look nose to tail right now as we're closing on halfway tonight in the Cowboy 300 from Texas. So we are closing rapidly on the Cowboy 300 here. Halfway point. It's Heath out front continuing to dominate tonight. Heath has done a well of a job doing just that. Man, I'm so happy for him. Take a look here. So far, 57 laps led 
for that driver right now. Take a look here. Started third tonight, did he? Now just absolutely dominating the field. Out front, eight tenths the gap. Max Ford. Nice run for Ford. Up 14 spots here tonight. Putting the 11 inside the top three. Another wonderful run. Don't know if he's got anything for your leader here, but he started 17th. He's got that car all the way up into the top three here in stage two, at least, with a 100, 118 to go at Texas. Forward in great shape. There's going to be a lot of questions at the end of this race. Here at Texas, what does these, these some of these guys who is trying to recover their season need to do? But we got a caution. Back straight away. Okay, we got a yellow back straight away. Let's see if we can figure it out. Cowboy 300 tonight. Let's look. So it was back straight away here. See if we can discover. Ooh, that was somebody out of shape. Down the back. Oh, wow. Ooh, right there. Take a look. So, right there. 53 of Justin Austin. And around he goes. So caution out Osterman with 116 on the board. So again, Kyle getting with the lead. Winstead right there in second. Let's talk to him. Chad Winstead, great job. Let's see if we got anything from Winstead here. So Winstead. Hey Winstead, Matt up here in the booth got a copy. Yes, sir. Alrighty, man, you've been looking at the back bumper of Kyle Heath for a while here. <coughs> What's it gonna take to get up there and get something done? <laughs> Well, I uh, thought I was going to catch him right there on that run. I was starting to reel him back in. I felt like I saved uh, saved my tire and uh, let them battle it out up there. So hopefully that's the case, and I saved a little bit better than he did, and I can get around him here on the, the last part of this uh, second stage. But learned uh, learned a valuable lesson from stage one when I accidentally burned my right rear off really early. Yeah, and, man. Um, yeah, that was rough. What's worse, right front or right rear? <laughs> here, I almost want to say right rear because... Uh, I mean, it's hard. Both of them are terrible, but they've got these bumps. Um, it's very slick out here, and uh, the car was wanting to spin out at the end of every exit. But I guess if you're tight, you're going to hit the wall at every exit, like I've seen some of the guys doing. So neither one's good here. Neither one's fun, but right here, we're going to get ready for the restart. Best of luck to you, man. All right. Appreciate you, man. All right. Yes, sir. So there you go. So Winstead ready for the restart, 87 on the board. So again, 86 on the board. He's leading and again, lights on the pace car. We'll get ready for the restart in a moment.
All right, sorry about that, folks. We worked through Kyle. Kyle, he's continuing to lead right now. Coming up towards halfway here. He's continuing to dominate right at the moment. He's over the over Ford, Alfred, and Winstead. Again, top three or four cars really sticking together here. Doing a heck of a job right now. So again, nice work. So at the moment, everybody hanging on. 99 of a 3 200 to complete. 102 to go. Again, right now, 99 complete out front. Max continuing to hang on. So, again, 100 on the board. Kyle, Brian, George Glover back there. Nice job. Glover trying to hold side by side, 100 on the board, hopped in there as well. So again, 100 to 200 complete tonight. So again, 101 this time by, at the moment, Everybody hanging on. Such a battle. So again, right now, 102 of 200 complete. Side by side, up the hill. A couple of cars going to get way wide there. They'll hang on to it, though. Great job keeping it rolling, at least. Could have been a lot worse there. All right, everybody holding on. Ford continuing now out front. Ford getting by Heath. Now dominating the front of this field here. And again, as we're just over halfway, 95 complete. Nice work here. Ford doing everything he can to pull back away now. He's gotten by Kyle Heath for the moment. So again, 106 on the board. 95 laps to go here tonight at Texas. So nice work, 107 this time by. So again, right now, 107 at the strike.
So again, 108 this time by for everybody here. Coming to the end of stage two, Alfred right now alongside of Mr. Glover and Alfred gonna pick up a spot. Brian Messer back here. We got a problem. Two cars around in the infield. Winstead involved, the 89 involved. No caution as of yet. A third car spinning now and the caution flag waves. Let's take a look. Out of turn four. Again, multiple. Multiple cars. Man. Take a look here. One more time. Wow. Take a look here. Car is going to get out of shape. Here we go. Take a look right past the start finish line. Another car snaps loose to 45. Gets the worst out of that. And now the flag waves a little late on the yellow, but nevertheless, caution out. The all out once again. So again, 91 to go. Caution back out. Max forward. So again, 110 uh, uh, complete. We'll have 90 to go this time by. So again, 110 complete. And so again, Ford, Christopher, Aaron, Brandon. It'll be 110 to 200 complete. So we'll see what we got. Forward. Again, continuing to roll. So again, 90 to go. So again, Ford, Kyle, right there as well. Some Max Ford. Kyle Heath, your top two. Glover there as well with, who is that, Brom right there as well.
Ford and Kyle right now, top two, ready to go. Ready to go. So ready to go. 113 this time by two by two. So right now, Kyle, George, ready to go. So again, 110, 112. And again, ready to go, coming to green this time by, on board with George Glover there in the Starbucks machine. Let's see what we got here coming at you. Coming out of turn number four. Here we go. Coming to green. Here we go, coming at you. Headed for turn one, coming to green. Let's go. Green flag back in the air. Let's go. The 13. Thirteen right there. Kyle. Right now forward out front. Again, that car started deep in the field tonight. <laughs> Looking at possibly winning stage number two. If you're Max Ford, you got Kyle Heath. Here comes the 49 with a big run down into three. Probably the easiest spot to make a pass on the racetrack. He'll jump it underneath Heath. Heath will give him just enough to get down there. Not an inch more. Nice job. Two by two. Here comes the six. He's going to drop the third. 115. So again, 115 this time by. Oh, one car. Oh, your race leader Ford made a mistake. Gonna open up the door for Melton. Melton gonna jump up top. Let's see. Can he run it? He does. He forces Ford to jump out of the throttle. New race leader. Give it to Melton. Nice job. Now three cars under a blanket for third. The 11, the 6, the 15, the 26. There's Glover as well. Melton. Nice job. Taking a look here as they work their way through one and two. Dicey off of two. Nice job, though. They didn't get together. That could have been a lot worse. It was all back here as well. The Cowboy 300, 117 on the board. Win instead. So again, so at the moment, everybody hanging on right now. So at the moment, 118 on the board. Nice work, Aaron Ford. Melton continuing to lead as well. Or Melton the second, excuse me, Winstead now to the race lead. Chad Winstead, the guy that's been so good on these style of racetracks this season. Here comes Melton. Melton to the bottom. Melton, nice job. Melton doing a wonderful job right now. Winstead continuing to lead. Here we go. 120 on the board. 
Here we go, 120 this time by. Compton hanging on. Again, 80 to go tonight, closing to the end of stage number two. Winstead continuing to lead the way. Winstead with about four tenths of a second over to 15. Bullock, Machine, Milton, Compton. Compton right there, great job. <laughs> One car in the grass and it's Ford. No. <coughs> Ford makes a mistake. Take a look. Glover just got right on it, got him a little bit of free, maybe a little bit of contact. Ford does a good job gathering the car up. Nice job. So again, Winstead continuing the lead. Nice job. Taking a look. Messer. The second Compton back there. Alford with a problem as well. Alford hanging. Alford having some connection issues here. A caution on the racetrack. Trouble back here in the pack. The 26 of Glover. All right, for the second time tonight, the stage will come to an end. Oh, the six just lost it right in front. Aaron loses it, comes back up the racetrack. And there you have it, caution is out. Take a look. Or just gets free through the grass, bounces down. On the infield, and here we go. Look at the air in that six. Trying to grab a hold of it and nowhere for George to go. Collected right into it. So 125 complete. And that will be the end of the stage with Chad Winstead. All right. Let's talk to him. All right, Chad Winstead, you got a copy? Yes, sir. All right, man, you're going to take away stage number two tonight. Yeah, um, you know, unfortunately, I got caught up in a, uh, in a wreck there, and so I felt like I had to come down and take tires, and it worked out, so... Um, I feel like I got to come down again though because I just gave it all I had there So I'm gonna probably not have too many sets of tires left here for this last stint, but hopefully it works out Well, man, sometimes the unplanned strategy is the best strategy Yeah, uh, I'm I'm happy to have the stage win so uh, get those points, but um, Yeah, hopefully I can uh, hopefully I can win when it matters here at the end. There we go, man. Best of luck to you All right. Thanks, sir. Let's let him go. Down to Interstellar. Let's talk to Aaron here. Hey, Aaron. Oh, no, Aaron, Matt, up in the booth, got a copy? Yeah, 10-4. What's going on, Matt? Not much. It looked like you were in an ace. It looked like you were within an ace of saving that race car. And then you clipped uh, the manhole cover down there with you know, a little bit of rally cross, all four tires off the ground. Yeah, I had it woed up, and I was ready to take the L and just cruise it back around, you know, hold the brake, you know, get back on track safely. 
before you knew it, I was looking down at the earth, and I was like, uh, that's not good. Like, I'm in the air right now. Feel bad for Glover on uh, the 26. I'm sure he got some bad nose damage, but was nothing his fault. Just car got loose off a of four. Didn't really, you can't really catch it as well as you'd like to because it's very easy to overcorrect off a of four here. Um, so I was trying to just hope to save it later in the corner, and it just kept coming across, and I was like, all right, well, this grass isn't too unforgiving, and then, yeah, next thing you know. Yeah, like I said, man, you're all four, not just the front end, but all four tires were off the ground at one point. Yeah, it sure felt like it. I really wish that uh, that didn't happen. We have we have a good tire strategy. I feel like we have uh, a set in the bank compared to everybody. But now we'll see what the damage holds, and hopefully we're not uh, out of this race yet. Yes, sir, man. We'll let you go to the uh, back to your channel, man. 10-4, thank you, guys. So there we go. We'll let Aaron go. Pit stops incoming. Pit lane is open here this time around. So we'll see what we got. Here we go. Pit lane here. Nice work. Everybody will come down. It'll be four tires and fuel here at the end of stage number two. Taking a look. There's the 61 down pit road. So everybody will begin the process of pit stops. Taking a look here. See who gets off a of pit road first. I think it's going to be Winstead. Leads the field down. Then it's going to be the 13 off a of pit road. Next up, it will be the 69 going to get off pit road. Good, good stop for him as well. So again, everybody will circle back around 127 on the board. So now, and again, EOL given, being given to EOL being given to Nick Alford here uh, for blinking problems. <laughs> there we go. So again, Alford. 127 on the board, and Alford electing to go the rear. So again, 127 on the board. So, see what we got. Alford. Again, about 37 minutes of robbing left for these guys in the Cowboy 300 tonight. We'll get ready for yet another restart here. So again. One twenty seven. One twenty eight. So again, working through. Field, nice job. One twenty eight this time by. So ready to go. Brian Masser will bring them to the restart box once again. Ready to go. Compton. Mm. 
Messer, Winstead, Heath, Paul, Paul, ready to go. 1.30 on the board coming to green. Messer. Ready to go. So ready to go. Coming to green this time by. Coming to green this time by. Ready to go. Green flag in the air. 130 on the board. Let's go. Winstead. Here we go. Compton. There's a whale. One. 130 on the board, Kyle, Pimp, Paul, Melton, there as well. 160 on the board here. This time, my, or one, 130 of 160 this time. So we'll get ready to go back to green. All right, working his way through 132 on the board of 200. Right now, Chad out front leading. 133 this time by. Now working through Hodgins, Brian Phillips, Winstead out front, continuing to lead. Nice work. Winstead continuing to lead the way. Nice work. Compton right there. Christopher Melton right there as well. Melton, Compton. Look at this, Compton underneath the Winstead. The 81 gonna get clear. Compton, nice work. 135 this time by. And again, Compton, Winstead. Aaron right there as well. Brian Messer going to drop to 7th. 135 this time by. Alfred. Hodgins. Melton back there as well. Melton, nice run. Glover, back here in line, Hinton there as well, Hinton, nice job, great run, Again, 137 complete. Compton continuing to lead. 
Wednesday the second. One thirty-eight. Compton continuing to lead. Alford, Aaron, Messer there as well. Here comes Hodgins. James Hodgins holding on. Christopher Melton there as well. George back there. Nice work. Brandon right there in line. Here comes Craven. Compton continuing to lead. So again, it's about roughly 60 to go this evening. Winstead trying to close. Compton. Nice job, 140 this time by. Nice work. Heath. Paul. It'll be 60 to go. Again, Compton. Continuing to hang on. Over Winstead, your top two. Again, 141 complete here tonight. Compton. 141. Winstead. One forty two Winstead Compton there as well. One forty three this time by Nice work. Hall Rom. Nick Alford there as well. James Hodgins. So again, 144 this time by. Winstead continuing to lead. Again, nice work. Winstead, he's right there, he's trying to move forward, Winstead, so again, it'll be 55, so again, 145, So again, 150, 45, completed 300. So again, 55 to go. He's nice work. He's trying to close. He's trying to get to the back bumper of Winstead. And Winstead gonna work he's gonna work the top of Winstead. Crossover coming, trying to get that car to rotate. Big run and he'll get to the bottom. And does just that. Now he's gonna take back over the race lead with what will be fifty five to go. Nice work. And so again, Winstead going to jump in behind him. Nice work. 147, 200 complete. Nice job.
Compton, Paul Ford, Aaron Nick there as well. One forty eight this time by Kyle Heath. Continuing to hang on. Aaron continuing to roll. Nice work. So 148 to 200 complete. Working their way through. Nice job. How can you power through these remaining laps here tonight? Coming to 50 to go from Texas. We're right down to it right now. Nice job. One fifty on the board. It'll be fifty to go tonight in Texas. Ford holding tight right now with Aaron behind him. Fifty to go this time by. Fifty laps to go here tonight. One fifty one. James Hodgins trying to roll the bottom. Brian Messer right there with him as well. Christopher Melton, Brian Phillips. George Glover. Now he's continuing to lead right now. Great job. He's continuing to dominate, starting to pull away here. 151 on the board. <laughs> 152. So again, 152 this time by and continue to work through. What is, what a great race here tonight. Kyle Winstead up there in the top two. Winstead starting to drop back. 25 minutes to go in this race. Roughly of driving and right now Kyle Heath looking for his real first one and a half mile race win here this season. Messer back there with a couple more with him. That's James Hodgins. Also with him as well. 153 on the board. So again, 153 at 200 this time. Working their way around. 154. Field holding on. So again, this field continuing to work. 154 laps complete. Back single file. A little bit of double file mid pack here. It's been that way all race long. So again, 55 on the board. Will be 45 to go. Nice work. Wow. Nice work for the field here. One thirty six complete, working our way through of two hundred here tonight. Uh, still side by side mid pack we got a couple cars diving the pit road here now again 156 200 complete still gonna stack up once again here
157 completed 200 this time by. Nice, nice work here tonight. A 157 to go here tonight. Nice work. So again, hanging on 158 laps in. So what do you see here as they work by 158 on the board? So right now, coming towards 40 to go, we continue to hold on. What has been an epic night here in the Cowboy 300. So it'll be 60 to go. Forty to go. Sixty of one four of two hundred complete. Forty to go. Nice work, 61 on the board. Cars coming down pit road right now. <coughs> so right now, 161 this time by, nice work. Sixty-two on the board, working their way through. Nice job. Kyle Heath continuing to lead. We got more cars to pit road than I need one. Electing to come down and Ted Craven. He'll come down pit road. Nice job for Ted. He's out front. Nice work. Nice work right now. 164 on the board. Nice job. 164 on the board this time by. So again, 165 this time at the strike. So 165 of 200 complete this time by. Nice job. So again, 165 as they work by. 166 on the board. Nice job. So again, right now, in the middle of green flag stops here tonight. Nice job. <clears throat> Take a look, everybody kind of well, pretty well spread apart at the moment. 
Nice job. Nice work. One seventy on the board. down pit road now for his final stop of the night as well down to pit road speed he'll wimp along with 30 to go so 170 to 200 complete nice job guys they were through again less than 30 to go tonight nice job so right now 171 on the board they'll get back up and get back at it Paul gonna rejoin the racetrack with everyone else so Paul rejoins 171 laps complete. Christopher out front leading. One seventy two this time by. So again, 172 this time by, working our way through. So again, 173, working their way around here, doing everything they can, trying to figure it out. Christopher Melton continuing to hang on out front. Right now, he's got company Brandon Hinton about 1.6 back behind him, still needing to hit pit road. Those guys have not made their final stop as of yet. They will have to here at some point. One seventy five to two hundred complete.
176 on the board. So right now, 177 to just stand by. One seventy seven this time by, one seventy eight this time by as well. Mm. It's right right now, one seventy eight on the board. So again, one seventy nine this time by mm. when well, I see I'm and working through. So again, it'll be twenty to go. to go this time but Nineteen to go. This time by. Eighteen to go. This time by. Eighteen to go. This time by. Right now, it'll be 18 to go. Melton, 17 to go. Forward right there as well. 17 laps to go. So again, 16 to go. So 17 laps to go. Melton continuing to lead right now. 57 laps into his run here tonight.
now. Everybody hanging on right at the moment. 16 to go. 16 laps to go here from Texas. Now 15. Fifteen to go this time by. And working their way down the back straight away. Fifteen to go. Fourteen to go. Fourteen to go. So it's thirteen to go this time, but thirteen to go this time, by. Aaron. Thirteen to go. It's Crisper out front. Right here at Ken or Melton. Kyle right there with Brandon. Thirteen to go. Thirteen to go this time by. <coughs> so <coughs> With 12 to go, unless we get a yellow here at some point. Nice job. So I get 11 to go. Nice job, 11 laps to go. Nice work for the field here tonight. Kyle Heath. 10 to go. Nick Alford, Zachary Compton, Ryan Phillips, Kendall Paul right there as well. Ten to go. Nice working here tonight. Nice work. Nine to go. Now it'll be eight to go. Eight, nine to go. Eight to go. Mm Seven to go. Nice work. Seven to go this time by. Seven laps to go this time for the field. So again, field trying to figure it out what they need to do. Seven laps to go here late at Texas. Winstead back there as well. Here comes Melton. Right now, Brandon, Zachary Compton, Brian Messer there. Paul, James Hodgins, and Brian Phillips right there in the mix also. Seven laps to go. Seven 
Six to go this time by. Three hundred on the board. No. <laughs> Five to go. Kyle continuing to lead. Five laps to go. Four to go this time by. Three to go. Winstead, two to go. Five to go, two to go this time by Kyle right there as well. Two to go. So it'll be two to go this time by. Mm. 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 Now out front wins dead one to go. So again, Winstead trying, but not able to get there. Kyle out of turn number four. Kyle Heath will win the Cowboy 300. Winstead there behind him as well. So checkered flag, and it'll be Wint Kyle up front and getting it done tonight. There we go. There we go. How he takes the win at the one and a half miler here tonight. Good job, Kyle, man. So Kyle, he's getting it done. There we go. Kyle Heath, Matt in the booth, go topic. I sure do. Sorry, I had a push stop button. <laughs> oh, you're fine, man. Well, look at that. Back to victory lane, sir. Yes, sir. I can't believe it. It's pretty awesome. Yes, sir, man. It's been one of those nights for you. Once you got it out front, that's that latest restart. You was able to kind of check away. Yeah, I didn't know what was going on because there's a bunch of strategies going on tonight between people coming in, getting tires and no tires. I try to save my couple of sets before the end just in case there's a late race caution well take about take a look at it this way a triple here richmond martinsville texas all in your back pocket man that's totally different racetracks right there to get a good win at and of course before that bristol 
this is going to make what your one, two, three, four, fourth win of the year? Man, that's crazy. That's honestly crazy. Well, there's one other man that I've seen do this in this standard, and that was last year in the trucks with Claus Williams. It led him on to a championship. Are you starting to get your hopes up for that? No, I'm, 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 I'm optimistic. Uh, Claus, he's my teammate. He, he's definitely passing the trucks, that's for sure. Well, man, you're dominating the Cup Series right now for the most part. We head to the unpredictable Talladega Super Speedway in one week. Oh, yeah, well, you know, if I get a win there, that'll scratch off all the tracks except for uh, a road course. I'd rather get one of those. Here we go, man. Well, man, I, I, you know, I interview every week, and I'm running out of stores up here, by the way. I, I, I'm becoming very limited. I'm going to have to order some more. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> you take a look at it here in the schedule coming up, and we go into this little loop of Talladega Dover. Uh, Dover. Yeah, it's, it's, great. it's great to be interviewed. Um, that, that just lets me know, you know, that I'm running competitively and, you know, consistent to right. say the least well let's look at it this way you go to Talladega next week then you go back to Dover arguably very consistent with Bristol should be a good night for you there and then Kansas Darlington so we've got a really 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 diverse set of tracks coming yeah I've, I've gotten quite a few wins at Dover Dover's a good track for me and Darlington I live like maybe a uh, an hour and 45 minutes from that track and that's one of my favorite tracks on the on the circuit there we go man well again congratulations it'll be very Thank interesting you. to see how this goes going forward yeah i mean it, it, this is just the beginning of the season it's a long season so you know anything can happen yes sir man well great job and we will see you very soon and again congratulations buddy yeah, thank you, Matt, for putting this on. And I want to give big thanks to the league for, you know, allowing all of us to race. You know, it takes time and money, the effort to put into this, in this stuff. Yes, sir, man. Well, best of luck to you here as we go to Talladega next week. Thank you, man. All right, Chad Winstead coming up Bridesmaid yeah. tonight. Hey, Chad, it's Matt in the booth. You come up Bridesmaid here tonight. Yeah, uh... Kyle is uh is pretty untouchable right now. He's on a hot streak and uh he's he's saving his stuff. He's he's good, man. It's it's hard to catch him and uh I'll I'll take a second place cuz I did not feel great about this track. Um probably my worst mile and a half by far. So, I'll take a second place. Well, man, I I'm happy for you P2. Uh we head off to Talladega and we know that's going to be the the outlier here of uh, anything can happen at a super speedway here in one week. Are you looking forward to it? Yeah, I think I am. Um, you know, obviously it's a, it's kind of a lottery sometimes with those races. Uh, but got the Daytona 500 win here to open the season at Daytona. Um, hopefully we can we can put it in victory lane again in a super speedway because I, I need something good to happen, some luck to fall my way because I've had some some bad luck the last few weeks and then tonight I just got, got out drove. So uh, hopefully tides will turn next week and we'll get back in victory lane. There we go, my man. Best of luck here as we go to Talladega next week. And again, Chad, you're always a uh, threat when we come out here each and every uh, Wednesday night. I appreciate you, Matt. Thanks for putting this on. And uh, thank you to all your family friends out there. And uh, congrats to Kyle on that victory. All right, man. One more question before I let you go here. Just want to touch on this. You come into the night, the points leader, Kyle, sitting back there in fourth in the point standings coming into the night, 103 points back from you. Do you start to get nervous when he starts racking off wins like this? Um, Not not really. Um, I mean, I started off the season pretty hot, got a couple wins in a row, and uh, then kind of faltered a little bit. Not saying that he's going to. He's, he's obviously great at these cars and an excellent driver. Um, you know, it, it is what it is. There's a long road to the playoffs right now. Um, he's obviously got double the amount of wins that I do, but, uh, just being in the playoffs as a lock, is going to feel pretty good. As long as I can stay top three or so entering the playoffs, I'll feel pretty good about my chances. All right, man. Well, nice job, buddy. I appreciate you. 
Um, Nick Alfred there as well. We got Nick Alfred here. Nick, you got a copy? I got you, sir. Well, man, you're going to come home third here tonight. Uh, just a little bit short of getting a dub. Yeah, uh, the car, you know, car, you got to manage these tires at this track. And uh, I was doing good throughout the whole first half of the race. And then oh, the last green flag stop, I uh, slid through my box too far. I had to back the car up. So I think uh could have made it more interesting if, if I didn't do that. So other than that, good win to Kyle. Chad's fast as always. Uh, that's a good race. There you go, man. Well, Nick, uh, good job here tonight. And I'm going to move you back up to the waiting room. Have those three uh, or two hang in there for just a second. I'm going to come up there. All right. All right, man. Nick, congratulations, buddy. Thank you, sir. All right, thank you. thank you everyone for coming out here tonight from the Texas Motors 